back to the tennis now. If, like me, you were inspired by what we saw on centre court between Murray and Song, all the diving around, the drama, stretching for every point, how would you love to play like that? <laughs> you may think I'm in cloud cuckoo land, but it's not so far out of reach. If we change the version of tennis and talk about touch tennis, you've got larger rackets, softer balls, smaller courts, so it is more accessible to all. The courts are smaller, so are the rackets. The balls are softer, but crucially, the rallies go on and on and on. At a time when tennis at the top is increasingly about the sheer power and strength of your serve and baseline shots, touch tennis takes us back to the days of serve and volley, a world in which speed of mind and delicate touches win you the points. Oh. And what's more, on the touch tennis tour, both the men's and women's number ones are British. In tennis, I overthought everything. I had too much time, and I just couldn't execute what I wanted to do. Whereas in this, I don't have time to think because it's so small and fast. But I just react and respond to what's coming at me. It's quite technical. You have to sort of think about what you're doing, and then you can play players who are much better than you and sort of beat them. <laughs> basically, you can sort of outthink them, maybe. Which on a real court, they'd probably outpower you and <laughs> rush you. We just try and make it as fun as possible and as inclusive as possible. Tennis is a very expensive sport, so this is like the five side of tennis, or the 2020. The idea being anyone can play it, anyone who can hold a racket. Well, that just about includes me, then. There are now over 600 players on the Worldwide Touch Tennis Tour, including some very recognisable big names from the world of tennis, like Jeff Tarango here. Hi, Jeff. Hey, how you doing? Nice feel. Seems like the day of the sermon volleyer is almost gone, and this idea of touch tennis is going to teach a lot of people how to reacquire all these skills. There did seem to be a lot more diving around than you normally see in tennis nowadays, and the soft balls, the lower nets, take the emphasis off the power and experience, so you can upset much better players than yourself. Nobody's going to believe it, BBC Five Live, that I'm losing this one, but I am. Look who I'm losing to. Hmm. He sounded rather surprised that I actually managed to take points on good old Jeff Tarango there. But it shows what a level a leveler it is, the fact that uh, ordinary people like myself can take points off uh, great professionals like Jeff. Um, but that was a, another bit of evidence of how good the British game is becoming. Look, you've got the, the world number one in the men's and women's in the Touch Tennis All England Championship there at the Home Park Club in Windsor. Both British, as uh, we heard from Hugh, it's been like buses, isn't it? All this British success coming along at the same time. Let's, he let's hope it continues in that vein, Mike. Thank you very much. We'll see you a little bit later. Thank you. Well, if you can include Mike in that, it's three buses, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Okay.